Hi, um, now Windows 10 is out, I thought I'd do a quick video showing you how to set up Windows 10 um, on a Mac using VirtualBox. Okay, first thing we need is an ISO, um, a Windows 10 ISO file. This is the web page you go to to get it. Um, YouTube won't let me put a direct link, but I'll put the URL in the top left-hand corner there in a yellow box. Uh, that's where you go to download the Windows 10 ISO file. And obviously there's a few options to choose. There's an upgrade path depending on your previous license for Windows, if you've got one, etc. Um, go ahead and download uh, the appropriate uh, Windows ISO file uh, for your system and your situation. It's a very very easy process this. This is the easiest in Windows install I think I've ever done Windows 10. Don't know what's happened to Microsoft. They're, um, they're getting interesting again. Okay there's my Windows ISO file. So the next thing you need is a copy of VirtualBox. Again I'll put the URL in the top left hand corner there. Download VirtualBox and make sure you download the latest version of the extensions as well. And you want to do that every time that you um, update VirtualBox in the future. It's quite frequently updated. And of course it's free and uh, the Windows 10 upgrade is free provided you own a relevant license from the previous version of Windows. So this is um, an economic process, I'll tell you. <laughs> OK, so we're assuming you've downloaded Windows and you've downloaded VirtualBox. We've started up VirtualBox, so the next thing we have to do is to create a virtual disk. So I'm going to zoom in on the settings here. We'll call it WindBlows 10, OK? And you'll see the third box automatically goes to Windows 10 64-bit. Continue. You've just clicked New, by the way. I'm going to bump this up, this RAM up to um, 4 gigs. OK, continue. Create a virtual hard disk now. Click Create. OK. Uh, VDI, that's fine. Continue. Dynamically allocated. You can choose dynamically allocated or fixed state. I choose dynamic, but it's quicker than fixed state. OK, and then just go ahead and click create. Um, that's the size it recommends, 32 gigs, we'll leave it on that. OK, and there it is, there's your new virtual disk and we're now going to install Windows 10 into it after we've altered a couple of settings. OK, open up settings, go to system, make sure that enable IOAPIC is checked. Go to processor, enable PAENX, Go to acceleration, make sure those two are checked. That's OK. Click settings again. Click on storage. OK, then click on empty here and then the CD icon on the right there. Although it's cut off a bit, one of the options is Windows 10. OK, that's the Windows 10 ISO on our desktop. OK, all you've got to do is click start and off it goes. It starts installing. Um, in the normal way. OK, it's a bit cut off here, so we'll go back out to full screen. Right, it's finished installing. Here's one I did earlier. Um, and I'll just leave it to show you how quick it is on an iMac with 12 gigs of memory and uh, 4 gigs allocated to VirtualBox. This is how quick it is to start up. This is Windows 10. Um, it takes a bit of time. As I say, if you choose fixed size, it should be a bit quicker. And of course, the quickest way of all is to create a hard disk partition and install Windows 10 in Boot Camp on Mac OS. And that gives you basically you know, a, a regular PC. Um, but we're doing it, we're doing it this way. Uh, VirtualBox is, of course, free. Right, here we go. It's started already. Click on that. Feed in your pin. PIN is now an option on uh, Windows 10 and we're still starting, obviously it'd be a lot quicker on a regular PC. Here we go. Takes a bit of time, it's a bit slower. But, uh, and there we go, it started basically. Um, so there's the new start menu. 
Um, you got your, what are they called? Whatever they're called there. Um, your shortcuts, whatever they're called. I forget what they're called now. Uh, so we'll have a look at Edge quickly. Edge is a new browser that's replaced Windows Internet Explorer. Thank God for that. Oh, that thing was the curse of my life. Especially Internet Explorer 6. Here it is, as you can see, we're surfing the web. Uh, quite normally we're going to have a look at Siren Web Design. That's my site that I'm currently revamping um, to try and get back in the Google search results and get a bit of work in. It's going to look different to this soon. Uh, but there it is, Siren Web Design. That's where you can contact me. And that is Windows 10 installed in VirtualBox on Mac OS X. It was actually the easiest install I've ever done. Um, something's happened to Microsoft. They're getting quite interesting. Uh, instead of being just a load of absolute garbage, you know, think Windows 8, they're okay. Okay, thanks very much indeed for watching.